Hey YouTube, welcome to another vlog. Man, am I tiny back here or what? Man, I'm really excited to have all you guys here because we have a really awesome, awesome vlog for you. We get to show some really crazy snakes from a really crazy clutch. Um, it's one of those surprise things. Every year we do a couple of pairings where we don't know what the result will be, but we know we really brought as much firepower to the game as we could, and we think, expect a really interesting interaction, and this clutch blew us away. It reminds me a little bit of the Pompeii a while back, and I just not for really comparison, they're very different. Um, but the Pompeii was a very unexpected result from a really cool pairing that we just hoped we'd hit something crazy, and we did, and it's happened again, and we get to share it with you guys. So that's super exciting. So let's get into this. Be sure to like and subscribe while you're here. Let's do this. So the key to an incredible clutch is always going to be in the parents. And we have an incredible pair on these, absolutely wild. So the female is one that we made five years ago, way back in 2015, and it really revolutionized what we thought about clowns at the time, what was possible from it. It's the GHI Mojave Clown. Um, it's like this really interesting net, really fine pattern, a lot of gray. Um, really, really unique. I thought, wow, there's, if we can make that, then who knows what's possible. The GHI Mojave is such an iconic uh, um, combo as it is. So let's take a look at her, and then we'll look at the crazy male we used to really kind of take that pattern to the next level. So the GHI Mojave Clown, you can see how well she's aged. She's still almost this blue-gray steel look with a really faint pattern. Um, really, really gorgeous girl, and she's one that I've enjoyed growing up and looks every bit as good as an adult as it is a baby. So the GHI Mojave itself basically is a black snake with a stripe, but when you add the clown in there, the stripe interacts so strangely with the black back of a clown that it really wasn't sure what to do, so it kind of blew up the pattern. So instead of having a stripe or a black back, it has this really weird blush all the way down with these almost like, they're almost like characters on the body, the really interesting kind of lacing or netting across, and just an incredible color grade. What an amazing combo this ended up being. We've seen some amazing ones that have been hatched since then, and I think this is a really interesting platform, as we'll see in the future here. So the male we paired with her is one of my favorite males I made last year. This is the most crazy het clown male I own, and I'm very, very fortunate to make him. So this is a black pastel, Wookie, yellow belly, spot nose, red stripe, het clown. And it came from the Pompeii bred to a Wookie yellow belly. And what a crazy combo this ended up being. Just some great, great um, spotting here along the top. But just overall, the color is so red, so blushed. And of course, it's just packed full of dark jeans. It has the black pastel and the Wookie in it. Of course, the yellow belly, spot nose, all these things all work together to make a combo that doesn't cover each other up at all. It all works in concert to make an incredible, amazing looking combo. All right, so now you've met the parents. We see what we were working with here, all these different genes. Very interesting animals both, very different animals both. Now we get to see how the odds fell and the crazy stuff we made. Okay guys, this is highly anticipated. Been looking forward to this for a long time. The, we're gonna work our way, of course, from the Kind of the least crazy baby all the way up to the wild stuff that I can't even explain. And this is a Wookiee Black Pastel Yellow Belly Clown. Check out the just the fade on it, the color overall. Really cool spot on the back of the neck. That seems to be some sort of a hallmark of some of the Wookiee stuff. And we'll see that kind of come through. And the clown, of course. Um, awesome. You guys know what, you know what Yellow Belly does with the big flames, the edging. But I really like that Black Pastel Wookiee combo in general. How well it just kind of fades. It's a real pleasing, kind of chocolate, deep, smooth color. That's a really pretty combo. I was really happy with that. The next one we're gonna look at is also a Wookiee combo, and this is Wookiee Spot Nose Yellow Belly Clown. This is another one that I was really looking forward to seeing this year. Um, it has a really awesome color to it, too. Of course, we know Spot Nose brings in all this definition of pattern. Yellow Belly brings the big flames, and then Wookiee just makes it just a beautiful, um, chocolate tan with a nice yellow fade down to white on the sides. This is a really, really pretty combo. And again, same spot on the back of the neck there. Really neat, really, really, really neat. So this next one is just absolutely insane. We'll let it introduce itself.
Here she is, guys. This, I believe, is Mojave GHI Yellow Belly Black Pastel Wookie Clown. And I know I cannot tell you how to identify all those things in there. It's just, I see elements of all those, and uh, it is just insanely crazy. Just crazy. It almost has this these copper little rings all over it, and that white fade, it just shows it off perfect. And these have like a little, almost like a drop shadow behind them. How could we ever even imagine a ball python like this? How is it even possible that we're seeing combos like this? It just makes me think we don't even know what's coming. We don't even know how great it's gonna be because this is wild, absolutely wild. Even though this would probably be the absolute best snake in the clutch, I'm really pleased to say that we got one more thing. There's one other crazy snake in the clutch that also completely, completely defies logic. We'll let it introduce itself as well. And here it is, wow, like wow. How, how does this even happen? We obviously, to me, it seems obvious we have GHI and Mojave still in the mix here. Um, I don't know if we're working with spot nose or something that's giving it that definition compared to the lacy look of the GHI Mojave and the spot nose is giving it the really hard edges and the beautiful, almost like, it's almost like it's writing here. This snake's gonna target my hand here, take me down. Um, it's almost like writing here. We see we have, it almost says Ozzy. <laughs> G-Z-Z-O-Y, Ozzy. And you're putting your, snake, your, your logos here in my snakes now. How cool is that though? It still has a spot on the back of the head. It has a weird spot in the middle of the face too, which is pretty wild. The big blushing on, down the sides. But that definition, that crispness, almost like lettering all the way down the snake, how is this even possible, guys? I'm just like, I'm really mind blown. We saw these come out. I'm like, how, how, how? And where can we take it from here? Like, what can we do with these? Of course, time will tell. But I'm already just brimming with really cool ideas of how to take these snakes um, and maybe just like work with them, work different directions and see where this new palette will kind of lead in the future. So for full disclosure, just as far as identification or anything, I want to show there's one more snake in the clutch that is not as crazy looking, but actually likely has more genes in it than any of the rest of them. It almost went to a completely blank slate. Um, it has these really, really fine little dots all over it that are kind of that same little copper look, um, but almost no pattern at all. A nice, real, almost patternless clown. Um, and this one might have all the genes or as many of them, um, more of them than the other ones, and we'll have to wait and see what it has in it exactly. All right, so that's it. I hope you really enjoyed that. Those are super cool. And I actually kind of run out of superlatives because I'm just so impressed with these snakes and it's just so cool to see each new direction it takes and know there's just so much more out there. I mean, I look forward to in the next year, two years, three years, finding more unique angles and uh, unique patterns and colors. And I feel like this just goes on and on and there's just so much there. I mean, theoretically, we've always known mathematically that it was because say we have a hundred morphs, um, it's a hundred morphs to the hundredth power to put them all together. So we know there's just infinite possibilities out there. But to me, the concern always is, well, maybe there's infinite possibilities, but maybe only a small percentage of them are any good. Maybe once we get too deep into it, we're gonna find there's things that just aren't any good out there that maybe we'll find that we've already peaked but honestly, I, I really, <laughs> when I look at the future and I look, see every day what things we come out with and then knowing that all the different angles in our heads th to make them better, that really obviously make them better um, and knowing that'll take a decade or more, I feel like, guys, I'm gonna be doing this until I'm a very, very old man and uh, I can't think of a better way to spend my time. Appreciate all of you guys so much. Thanks for watching and thanks for making possible what I get to do, which is by investing in the snakes or just watching the, the content and enjoying it with me. Um, it's all really, really huge and I really appreciate every one of you. Till next time.